It's a beautiful fall evening. The sun is setting. The dog finally stopped barking. Life is good. But inside, there's trouble brewing. And Emma has no idea. Although she feels fine, like her father, Emma is one of the 67 million adults in the U.S. with high blood pressure or hypertension. Just like her radiator that's on the fritz, Emma's heart is working overtime to get the job done. Let's have a look. The heart is the pump in our bodies, delivering blood to the entire system through a set of pipes or blood vessels of all sizes. Smoking, high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, physical inactivity, family history, and increased age all contribute to these blood vessels or our pipes becoming less elastic. The more blood our heart has to pump through stiff, narrowing arteries, the higher our blood pressure. When the force of the blood against our artery walls is too high, life-threatening health problems can result. Problems like kidney disease, heart disease, stroke, even heart attack. Can Emma get her pressure down before it's too late? Do you know if you have high blood pressure? Find out how you can prevent or control it. High blood pressure when left untreated can damage the blood vessels in your body. It hardens the arteries as cholesterol and calcium builds up. Over time, the arteries narrow, restricting blood flow and damaging critical organs like the heart, brain, eyes, and kidneys. The first sign of high blood pressure affecting the heart is the thickening of the heart muscle. It now struggles to pump blood into the circulatory system through narrowing arteries. Left untreated, the condition worsens and all this time you do not feel any symptoms. Over time, high blood pressure further narrows the arteries, cutting off blood to the heart. When your arteries become critically narrow, or if a piece of the blockage breaks off, it may result in a heart attack. A heart attack can cause permanent damage to the heart muscle by affecting its ability to pump blood, resulting in heart failure. High blood pressure is a leading cause of kidney failure. Damaged blood vessels in your kidney affect its ability to filter and clean blood. Left untreated, the kidney will eventually fail and dialysis or a kidney transplant will be needed. In your eyes, high blood pressure can affect the tiny arteries of the retina. Bleeding and blockage can result in blurred or lost vision. When arteries harden in the brain, you can suffer a stroke that damages brain tissue. Some arteries may rupture, causing bleeding or hemorrhage. This can result in slurred speech, paralysis, and loss of consciousness. Do you know if you have high blood pressure? Find out how you can prevent or control it. Eat healthy, relax, lose weight, and take all medication given by your doctor, and you can control high blood pressure and stay healthy. Like millions of Americans, Emma was living with high blood pressure and didn't know it. There were no early warning signs or symptoms. But Emma's heart was working overtime, putting her at risk for heart disease and stroke. Following a physical, Emma was diagnosed with high blood pressure, also called hypertension. People of all backgrounds can develop high blood pressure. Treatments differ based on risk factors, including age and family history. But hypertension can often be controlled with healthy habits and medication when necessary. Eating more fruits and vegetables, following a low-salt diet, 
exercising regularly and quitting smoking are often the first lines of defense to control high blood pressure. Your doctor may prescribe one or more medications to help lower your blood pressure to normal. Some rid the body of extra sodium and water. Others reduce the heart rate or relax the blood vessels. Always take medications exactly as prescribed and don't skip doses. While medications can effectively lower blood pressure when taken correctly, each type has potential side effects for some people. You might feel tired or have trouble sleeping. You may experience a dry cough, stuffy nose, leg cramps, frequent urination, or headaches. If you have side effects that don't go away with time, don't just quit taking your medication. Talk with your doctor and pharmacist as there may be other medications or different doses that can control your blood pressure and have fewer or no side effects. Focus on the benefits. Taking your medication regularly will lower high blood pressure and protect your brain, heart, and kidneys from life-threatening consequences like stroke or heart attack, often the first scary signs of hypertension when left untreated. Control your blood pressure and reduce your risk by knowing your goal numbers and monitoring your blood pressure at home or at your local pharmacy in between doctor's visits. How's Franny? <laughs> she just graduated from obedience school. Pharmacists play a key role in working with your physician to improve blood pressure management. We can address medication concerns and challenges. So talk to us about your treatments and goals outlined by your doctor. If taking your medication feels like a chore, don't just stop taking it. We can counsel you on working through side effects or determine when you need to see your doctor about possible changes in your medications. And we'll share healthy lifestyle tips to keep you on track. Whether you monitor your blood pressure at home or in the pharmacy, we're here to discuss your numbers and provide guidance. Okay, Emma, you're all set. I'll see you back here soon. Visit millionhearts.hhs.gov to team up with your pharmacist to bring your blood pressure down. On September 4, 2012, CDC released its 25th issue of Vital Signs, a monthly call to action concerning a single important public health topic. This report focuses on the issue of blood pressure control. In the United States, more than one-third of the adult population, or approximately 67 million people, have high blood pressure. Of those with high blood pressure, more than half don't have it under control. High blood pressure makes you four times more likely to die from a stroke and three times more likely to die from heart disease. What is high blood pressure and how do we improve control? Normal blood pressure is where your systolic pressure, or the top number, is less than 120. And your diastolic pressure, or the bottom number, is less than 80. If you are below this level, make sure you check your blood pressure at least twice a year. If your pressure is 120 to 139 over 80 to 89, you should monitor it closely and make healthy lifestyle changes. If you have a pressure of 140 over 90 or higher and you are not already being treated for high blood pressure, seek medical attention. If you are being treated, make sure to take your prescribed medicines. Ask your health care provider to check your blood pressure during visits. High blood pressure has few warning signs. Don't wait until it's too late to control your pressure. Get your blood pressure checked regularly. Remind your healthcare provider or your pharmacist to talk to you about your pressure and know the warning signs. Be physically active. If you smoke, get help to quit. Practice other good health behaviors. And take prescribed medicines as directed. High blood pressure is within your control.